A Congress spokesperson has written to the Information and Broadcasting Minister, in fact, Jagmeet Shergill's letter, we have that letter over here, saying that the demise of Rajiv Tyagi, another national spokesperson of the Congress, to a heart attack serves as a crude reminder of the toll that media debates take on the body and the mind. He was really stating the obvious, but I think the larger issue is what are these debates a part of? Is this actually news at all? And what feeds the frenzy which we see across channels? We've got a fantastic panel with us. Uh, Dr. Abhishek Singh, we'll be coming to him in a moment. Dr. Manoj Rajoria of the BJP, Akash Banerjee, Anna Vetikad, and Rajat Sethi. But let me go across first to Dr. Singhvi. You know, Dr. Singhvi, I could win this debate with you uh, in just one second if I was to do what some others do. And you know how I do that, sir? I would reduce your audio by about 15%. And I would be louder than you. And in that situation, if I argued with you, believe me, sir, no matter what the argument is, you're the finest lawyer in the country, I would still end up defeating you. This is what the media has come to in many quarters, sir. All right, all right. And just, we'll come back to him in just a moment, but I want to go across to Akash for just a quick moment. Akash, um, is, isn't this part of the problem? That this letter from J.V. Shergill actually speaks about news. And he says that, look, it's ironically called news. There's no real news. That what we are actually talking about is not news at all. It's entertainment, right? Um it's 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 a mantra that uh, many uh, anchors have discovered uh, for years, and of course, forever now. And there are some channels that refuse to uh, believe that, and uh, they have taken the brunt. Uh, the unfortunate fact is, many many years ago, a very prominent anchor, and this is like you know, this is from the horse's mouth. Uh, after a very heated debate, I said, "But what was that?" I said, "But you know, people want this, you know." They're frustrated. The boss is screaming. Wife is screaming. They want to let it out. They want to. They, they want some punches to be thrown. And as we have seen over the years, this has become a norm. People enjoy it. Now let's let's be very clear. Okay, there there, there are a lot of people saying that arrest this person. No, the audio. Person. Just bring the audio down. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Akash. Yes. Arrest this person. Arrest that person. But I'm saying even if you go ahead and arrest anybody who was part of a debate, it's not going to solve the problem. This debate is going to carry on. We are going to have this debate. The other channels are still going to have that same debate. And it will carry on because the people are watching. I'm sorry to say, but the fact of the matter is that it can't be just blamed that there are some channels and some anchors and some people who do this. They're doing this because there is an active market for this. It's cheap. It's economical. It's drama. It's entertainment. And unfortunately, it works. Okay. I want to go back to Dr. Abhishek Singhvi. And Dr. Singhvi, that point I was making to you about sound and how it's deliberately distorted, is that your concern? That the, this is being uh, done to fuel a particular style of aggression which fuels anything but news? I hope. I hope Vishnu didn't do that to me for five seconds by muting me. But that's <laughs> in the lighter side. Uh, having heard your question, you couldn't hear my answer. I started saying that... Uh, Knowing you as I do, you are incapable of such machinations. <laughs> but the least of the crimes you'd be guilty of in terms of capacity as a journalist would be to lessen my volume and increase yours. Today, Javir, who has a valued colleague, has worked with me here, has raised a much larger issue. I don't think it's restricted to Mr. Tyagi. The jury will be out as to what caused this very sad and tragic death. But the issue is that this larger issue, and I'll take just a minute, Vishnu, yeah, go ahead. of sense and sensationalism, of noise and news, this has now become, I mean, I started this game decades ago. As you know now, one of the reasons why we do mostly these one-to-ones with you or other select programs is because I have seen the debasement and the devaluation of this entire thing. And ultimately, all the sermons we give, all the programs you held, all the seminars we do are of no use. First and foremost, it has to be self-regulation. 
and there is a collusion of silence or there is a conspiracy of silence within your industry we all know who those channels are we all know who those anchors are we all know that it is not an anchor who is much more royal than the king but an anchor who is much more vigorous than the participant we know how before you called me you already called two people only for shouting obviously if i was to throw a shoe at you in the studio fortunately we are now virtual it would get you humongous uh, but trps point is what are your organizations doing is there not a way of shaming naming ostracizing remember the power of naming and shaming is very important point 1 point 2 we have please don't go and say we make a new law and have a parliamentary select committee you know my favorite no, wag is our defamation law strong enough is no, that the, the, the we have the code we have the broadcasting code we have a cable tv app but let me now add we are forgetting the elephant in the room some of these cacophonies noise sense sensationalism etc benefits the government of the day so why would they take action why will i take action let's not be very you know nicey nicey let's be let's address it no but dr singh we bought about rules of defamation the fact that rules of defamation in our country are weak at best it's easy Where to say a common vishnu, citizen who's been targeted go to court and fight for years vishnu these are theoretical answers it is like saying if you don't have bread have cakes you understand that for a fight on a channel you will file a defamation against me or vice versa and as they say in india perhaps is little better now in the old days the privy council judgment said defamation in india frequently starts after the complainant files a defamation case correct the very nice saying right so these are theoretical constructs what is our press council doing no exactly what, 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 the, what is the press know, council the doing the cable tv act right exactly have you seen the broadcasting code yeah no i know Powers the broadcasting code is absolutely categorical it, it it there are four or five norms in front of me right now none of which are and followed what about vigorously. the broadcasters association right i know that there is solidarity i know i am an anchor you are an anchor the third party anchor i know you are a channel i am a channel that doesn't mean that this conspiracy of silence will go on and you know this nice little thing we sent you a warning we sent you a censure no you need to name and shame you need to make them feel isolated yeah, but the business of self censorship which two. the industry has sought sir has not worked off air for so many hours to do this that's month. one of but the it. problems sir but it's a catch 22 dr singhvi the se- the industry wants self censorship and yet self censorship doesn't work and yet if you've got the government coming in then there are problems associated with what you mentioned i started by saying i am the first only to want self control self regulation and being in public life it's a very easy scapegoat to make that the politicians are trying to curb the press and then you have a debate like this oh what do we do about noise and sensationalism well you have to take your choice okay i think the time has come for robust enforcement of the existing law okay we are an over legislated under enforced country and we have conspiracies of silence between governments and those channels between governments and those anchors and between within the channels in your broadcasting associations yeah. within the community these are all conspiracies and you know i mean i can list you from my experience of decades in this game there are several ways you angle the topic you interrupt as you no, said and, and how you captured it and how you, you captured you, you it make, because very often people one, are looking uh, at captions fact. and they're not looking at the at the person so speaking it's ridiculous it's how you pitch a particular debate which has a huge But Dr. Singhvi, thanks very much for sharing those views with us. I know you wanted a one-on-one debate because you didn't want to get into a fight. I assure you, we wouldn't afford. But nonetheless, thanks very much, uh, Dr. Rajoria. I want to come across to you first. We are in a crisis, sir, in this country. Uh, the the forms of debates, whether it's what's happening on other networks, when it comes to the Sushant debate, when it comes to this entire rubbish versus if you're not. you know i mean if you have a different perspective you're anti national or or national if you're if you're not liberal you're something else uh, you you know you you just make people into something and then you feed the frenzy right and you shout and shout and shout and you get away what is the way around this now vishnu i think everything is deterring time by time and what is happening there is a throat com- uh, cutting competition between the channels and the anchors they are trying to show themselves that they are more aggressive and more powerful and more 
sellable in the market. This is the issue, and they cause the debaters and the aggression lives in the, their anchors only. Even the shouts, the cries, they gives less time. Even this is 2020 match. Even less than 2020 match, it becomes the 20 instead of the 2020 match, it becomes the two hour or two ball match. Everybody wants few seconds only, and anchors just are trying to ruling out. This is the very unfortunate, and this is I think is. Uh, Demise of the Sri Rajiv Tyagi, the senior leader of the Congress, due to cardiac arrest, it's very sad. And I seriously condolence about him, a senior leader. He lost about just, just his life after the debate. So it's a very serious concern, and all of us, including all the TV channels, in all channels, as all the anchors, all the debaters, as well as the all the authorities who are governing all these things. I am absolutely convinced with Abhishek Manu Singhvi ji. Who is telling that uh, self-regulation, self-regulation of debaters, self-regulation of the anchor, self-regulation of the TV channels and the press council as well in the broadcasting rules. Okay. So I think everything, everything has that important role. Even I am just giving a feedback to Vishnu, you of the public also. Whenever we go in the public, even public denies to watch all these debates seriously because the they look at it as entertainment. They look at yeah, it as, yeah, as entertainment. Because, because serious debates are not there now. Okay. The standard of the debates are going down. So this is a very serious concern. Everybody should debate on the topics only, issues of their party. Okay, so only. one sec, I just want to go across to my other panelists. Anna Vettikar, is this uh, linked primarily with the nature of the business? And the business itself works on advertising primarily. And therefore, if you shout and you scream and you appeal to a certain section of the audience, and that is the section of the audience that advertisers look upon to buy their items, then the model itself is fixed even before the debate begins. All right, sorry, we've got, we've got an audio problem over there once again. Uh, let me just, uh, I'll come back to you in a moment. I wanted to take that question to Akash, uh, who I'd uh, sort of interrupted earlier on. Akash, would you believe that this model was fixed even before it actually started because of the nature of the business? For solutions, and if you're looking for core issues, okay, so very quickly, okay, uh, I, 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 I introduced my book with this whole was point that? only. That look at it. He asked me entertainment question. is working. Entertainment is, is 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 because of nine o'clock. People watch entertainment see, shows. The same yeah. PRP meter is working as far as that is concerned that of news also. So system is broken, uh, ratings and ranking systems, etc. are broken. There are two ways this can be sorted out. Parties say that, listen, you can't become a circus. Our spokespersons can't become a circus on television. We will prohibit you from behaving in this way. Okay. I don't think that's happening. So that goes out of the window. The simple point is, and I think Abhishek Manu Singh, you just touched upon it, is name and shame. And Vishnu, you and I, we are all part of the problem as well yeah. because we haven't been able to name and shame people because there is this code and in, in television definitely there is this code that you don't talk about the other channel uh, you don't bust fake news of other organizations just imagine if news organizations start naming and shaming other news organizations if they start mocking other people's debates the only way this is going to stop is when you make complete mockery of these people. It's happening on digital. I can run an entire YouTube channel today based on what is happening on television and I'll have enough and more content. It is that kind of stupid free content one can get. So it has to be naming and shaming. It has to be done by the mainstream media and mainstream media itself will uh, uh, self-regulate. Okay. Rajat, uh, would you like to come in with this? And I think the point that I was earlier trying to raise is that the, the goal in so many cases appears to be uh, you know, just to designate certain people in a certain way, to rile up people, to veer them in a particular direction and stir up anger. And, and that's apparently something that works. If you see somebody shouting and ranting, people are curious to say, why is this person doing something abnormal? Right. And that is what and that's the, that's the premise upon which it works. And it's happened day after day, month after month. And for how many years? I mean, it's it, at one level, don't you, Rajat, feel that it's deeply shameful? I agree with you, Mr. I think uh, uh, taking this whole time of our window to a different meeting altogether. And I think if we go 
back understand where this trend started this trend started when mainstream channels stopped doing uh, re reportage from the ground they didn't had interesting stories to offer during this premium uh, time slots of uh, uh, 7 till 10 in the night and they uh, they kept closing down their field offices and just focusing on the head office where they can get four or five people who can shout on top of each other and do a cathartic uh, treatment to 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 the whole topic which is a shortcut approach there is no production cost that goes in in bringing four people together and 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 having a shouting match and this this entire model feeds into itself and over the course of time you don't see it as a one off thing it becomes a regular affair and this is what has happened every day any news channel that you pick there are people who are talking over each other and this is where my second part of the problem comes from uh, party panelists and no party is uh, uh, is free from the blame for this uh, even congress and bjp are the two national parties who are also party responsible for this trend they should make it a point that they should not send their uh, spokesperson if they believe that the counter party is trying to create a a, a shouting match there and they the, the censorship has to be twofold it has to come partly from the news channels themselves and partly from the uh, from the political parties also mm -hmm. they both of them have to come together to break the economics of this business model they have to break this that this is not going to happen and we will put hard conditions that a debate is done in an organized manner so that the public the viewers get the essence out of it yeah. and then uh, you let you you experiment it and you see how the viewers uh, uh, look at it and i'm telling you lot of educated people yeah. are now switching back to doordarshan They're yes, watching yes, TV news yes, just for yes, the sanity of their yes, mind. Yes. They're losing sanity. They're, they're fed up with the shouting. Uh, Anna Vetika, let me ask you this: um, Where is the content in all of this? Uh, I mean, a lot of channels don't focus on content. They pick an issue, the issue which is going to provoke an emotion, and they go hell for leather on it. Isn't that the same issue that content? which is supposed to be king in our profession has disappeared when it comes to prime time debates Vishnu can you hear me Yes I can go ahead Anna Vish Okay so uh Vishnu uh, I think there are four parties who have to be accountable in in, uh, in this entire scenario first there is the government second there is the media third there are people who send guests as panelists on um, tv channel debates and uh, fourth there are members of the public um i uh, obviously it goes without saying that the indian television media has become extremely irresponsible with each passing year but the past 6 years have the 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 indian television media has hit an all time low tv panel discussions were at one time a source of knowledge but by and large now with a few exceptions like your channel for instance by and large most tv panel discussions are conducted not to give knowledge to the public who's listening but to create a soap opera effect so that the public that is exhausted watches people fighting amongst themselves so as an audience member there is no knowledge i can glean from it there is no perspective and there is nothing new that comes out of it it's just entertainment i may as well switch to a new um, an entertainment channel it will be the same thing so of course media channels have to be held accountable for what they are doing and it is not enough for of an excuse for any channel to say but the public is watching therefore we can be excused because in the equation between the media and the public the media has a greater responsibility yep and tv channels like aaj tak z news uh, times now i'm sorry i i, I realize that nobody has named a single channel um, on this discussion no, please so go far. ahead but these channels if we say name and shame them why are we not even naming and shaming them on this panel discussion yeah. they are communal they are misogynistic and they are disruptive not in the way that the media is supposed to be the media should traditionally it it was expected to be disruptive in the sense that it shakes up the establishment and questions the establishment that's not what they're doing they're questioning the congress they're questioning um uh, the uh, general public they're questioning uh, jawaharlal nehru but they will not question the present ruling party and the prime minister having said that yes i do believe the audience needs to take some responsibility for the huge role they have played in giving these nonsensical channels 
CRPs. I am tired of explaining to friends, to family, and to intelligent, educated members of the public who complain about what Arnab Goswami is doing on his channel every night. And they will go to the, and they'll say, oh my God, do you know what he did? How far will he go for TRPs? I want to tell members of the public who are watching these channels, you do have a choice. It's not like there are zero choices in India. Apart from NDTV, in some, or there are other channels where you will find one anchor, two anchors who conduct same channels. Watch channels that are same, watch anchors who are same. If you as a member of the public are watching these noise channels, you are accountable too. Sure. And Vishnu, one point before you um, move away from me, a member of the panel today said that BJP and Congress need to come together and they too are accountable in a small way. Please let's not mince words over here. The Congress has committed many crimes in the past of omission and commission. But right now, there is, in any case, we should never want the government interfering in the freedom of press, right? Yes. However, in this particular instance, in the past six years, what we are seeing is a blatant collusion between the TV news media and the present ruling party. Okay, one so second, no one question. second. Let me get a reaction. Rajat wants to react to that. She's stating the obvious. I mean, we. No, I mean, uh, it's, it's it is the obvious. obvious. I mean, Rajat. I mean, we, 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 there is an absolute link among certain no, channels to push a saying? particular line. I just wanted to rotate the strike, Anna, for one second. Rajat wanted to react to that. I wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to give him. See, One second. Yeah, go ahead. Make your make your I, final I point, Anna. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to get into the partisan debate. But see, if you want to vilify one party over the other, then I can name at least ten names from Congress party who only come to bully on news channels, who have zero content. Their only thing is to come bully the other side and the I other. I agree, side and it's true of all parties. See, this cannot be It's true of all parties. See, if we go partisan, then no solution will come out for this nation. I'm telling you, for 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 once, we will both have to restrict and restrain these kind of panelists from going into the debate and if suppose if somebody is coming from the no, other but side... Why just I the panelists, uh, uh, Rajat? Why, why not the entire manner in which there is an association, as Anna was mentioning, between the government of the day and the editorial line of channels? There'd be a million examples of this. So, again, I mean, then we can also go with NDTV and its own partisan lineages. We all know that. So... No, no, we, I, I mean, I deny that completely. Never be able to come out of it. But it's not a I'm Tutu Man situation at all. I mean, I can point, I can from chapter and verse quote to you how one has been critical on this channel in the past, in UPA 1, UPA 2, for the last 24 years that I've been doing this. There is no Chapter and verse, I can give you examples, but it's, 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 but, but it's just channel. this sort of, Rajat, it's just this sort of thing. You know, it's my way or the highway, which seems to be the way it is. Not at all. So what I'm all saying right. is very simple. See, I'm yeah. just a last point. Um, no. I understand I don't expect this level of standard of journalism from the other channels, but I do expect it from NDTV. But if you want to convert the channel of NDTV into an eco chamber, then that is also a problem. People will refrain from coming and sharing another side of the story. No, but it's not and an so echo chamber. We are trying to discuss. We are, it's it's not a, it's a, it's an it's a ch chamber of a whole lot of views of all sides. But just one sec. As I, I said, as I said, I don't Anna, expect Anna, I, Anna, I had a. I, I wanted to come to you and then Akash last. Yeah, go ahead, Anna. Yes, um, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry. I miss because of the audio problems. I'm yeah, yeah, the that's names why I want to come guests, back to you. Yes, but I want to say that for 2014, before 2014, definitely there were. It's not that the Indian media was flawless. However, this country has never seen what it is seeing right now in the media. I know, the TV channel. Channels we have named that I have named on this show are acting as virtual spokespersons of the present government. Never before have we seen in the Indian television media's history where questions are asked not of the present prime minister but of Jawaharlal Nehru, where shows are being done on prime time saying X, Y, and Z is a problem right now because okay. of Nehru. How did, and all going back to Babar and Humayun. Okay, one second. I wanted to. I needed to wrap this up. I mean, it's almost half past the hour. I've got other things to do as well. Akash, last comment. You go ahead. Yes. Uh, no, I, I'm I'm a little scared right now to comment anything because I'm wearing a red uh, uh, T-shirt and Rajat might just say that I'm a leftist because I'm wearing a red T-shirt. On top of that, my name is Banerjee. This is the kind of bunkum that goes on on news channels. Ironically, we are debating that and we landed up doing just that. 
whether or not NDTV has any historical leanings and political leanings is not the context of the debate. And that is exactly the rabbit hole that we go down into. That you, no, no, you, no, your connection is debate on the facts. Unfortunately, we don't do that. And again, I would say the simple solution is not that the government is going to come and save the day, or the people are suddenly going to become all alert and say, no, no, we will only watch the good stuff. The idea is that people who want to have a good debate, they have to innovate. I remember NDTV as the channel that used to have Gustaki Maaf. And, and that is the kind of legendary programming that has to be done to defeat the kind of BS that goes on in the name of okay. debates. All so, right, look, we can so ar argue this and debate this for hours and hours. I, I think at one level, it's unfortunate that we have to have a debate on this as well instead of something far more important happening all around us and affecting our lives. Unfortunately, this does affect uh, our polity at, at a very profound level, it appears. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us.